What's up guys, welcome back to some glorious smiting today. We're doing a much requested sort of gamepad overview since I play my PC with a gamepad. Just a regular Xbox 360 gamepad. So what I'm going to show you is basically a comparison between the gamepad and the mouse. Not really so much the keyboard since I can't use the keyboard to save myself. And my settings and how I got the sensitivity up as well since the base sensitivity on this game is fucking awful for a gamepad user and they didn't include a slider which is just dumb why not like the game comes with fucking gamepad support as standard but you don't include a sensitivity slider it, i was never used to this you know back in the console days i always fucking had a slider and I always increased it you know it just it doesn't feel right playing at that kind of slow pace anyway this is with the gamepad currently i'm using the gamepad Let's just get off this so you can see. I've got the full movement just so I move a little bit faster. It's not actually a real build, obviously. Right, just so you can kind of get a fucking... A fucking kind of view of the base turn speed and shit. You can put it faster if you want. I feel this is fine. I can nearly do a full spin. Nearly do a full turn when I'm jumping. Okay, get like three quarters away, maybe. Through. I thought that I would just show you off, you know, some of the skills and shit. You can kind of see the aimer, right? You can kind of make it go fast, or you can make it go slow. Slower. Right, you can turn left, you can turn right, obviously. But you, you know all that stuff, it's pretty simple, right? Okay, let's try something a bit different. Yeah, there you go, that was basically blink him, turn around quickly, knock up, pull in, blah 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 kill. Right, you can do the same shit with Tear, Hercules and stuff, right? It's pretty simple. You can still turn fast enough to easily do a blink turn. Playing pretty much the same, right? You just pull down the buttons and it fucking does shit, right? So that's basically spinning about, right? With a fucking. Fuck, I just stand still and do it. Right, what fuck? <laughs> With the, the gamepad. This is me using the mouse turn now, right? This is this is mouse. I obviously have to lift the mouse off, and it's kind of like. More like petting the mouse pad than anything else. Obviously, if you've got a better mouse, you don't have to do this. Right, so again, this is the mouse, all mouse. So I'm going to use the gamepad to move about, but I'm going to use the mouse to turn. So you can kind of get a feel for the difference. Right, so this is all mouse. All mouse. I'm going to change back to the gamepad. All gamepad. Pretty much the same, right? Not really differences there, really. Uh, obviously the mouse has got a bit of a limitation, because obviously I run out of fucking pad and I have to go back, but it's not that big difference. If I keep going right, I need to lift up the mouse, but most of the part, it's just the exact same. Obviously if you've got a bigger area, Better mouse, gamer mouse, you know, these things obviously might not be issues for you, obviously they are for me. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. In fact, let's see. Can I jump? That's the wrong thing. I said the jump, okay. Right, so I'm going to try and do a 360 spin with the mouse. One, two, three. I think I can do it. I think I can do it. <laughs> I can nearly do it. Right, for the fire giant. Nearly. But I mean, obviously, someone is more used to a mouse could probably do it. Right, you can see the mouse has got a little bit more. Maybe it's all mouse, all mouse. And it's about the gamepad. Mostly a little bit quicker, but very, very minimal. And yeah, that's that's really it for that. So the main things are here for how that set up. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Da -da -da -da. Beautiful. Oh, auto run, toggle auto run. I was gonna say ogle. <laughs> toggle auto run. Gamepad L3. That's basically the left 3D stick. Uh, the jump is the R and the 3D stick. You probably hear me click that when I'm playing games and recording. You can hear the little. Oh, can I do it for you? Yeah, hear it clicking. Uh, fire. Gamepad R2. That is your right trigger. Cancel fire. That is L2. That is your left trigger. Ability one is A. Ability two is X. Ability three is B. Ability 4 is Y. Store active 1 is left bumper. Store active 2 is R bumper. This I really, really like. This basically means fire and your actives are all, or like attack basically, and your actives are right next to each other so you can press them instantaneous because my fingers never really leave the kind of fire area, the cancel area, the fucking active area because obviously they're both right next to each other, the fire and the active buttons. So I really, really like that. Obviously, it's a little bit different on a on a keyboard because you usually you access it up on a keyboard which I think kind of weird but on certain mice you can get extra buttons and it's probably a lot easier because you can have your thumb access them which would probably be better 
but yeah, I really like that. I'm it going down. Uh, recall is gamepad left. Consumable one, that's like potions and shit, is D pad up. Uh, Consumable two is D pad down. I think I'm say gamepad left, but I mean like the D pad, obviously. Uh, train ability is holding the cancel button and then just push the corresponding face button for each ability. It's pretty simple. In fact, this is where I could get a lot of extra buttons if I really, really wanted to. But some things I'm just used to using the key keyboard now, I can sort of push it. And that is the kind of like the other things you don't really need for playing the game but are useful. You could easily just set up for a gamepad L2 and it basically just gives you a fresh set of buttons. Um, you see, I don't use these things at all. Scoreboard is the back, that's kind of to the left of the big X button on a 360 pad, and it is just a standard 360 pad. Top player stats and skills, I'm used to using the keyboard for these, but again they could easily be incorporated with the gamepad L2. Item store is D-pad right. The VGS I don't use because it would be impossible to relearn it all, it took like 4 months to fucking learn the VGS and I don't want to learn it all again. That's no, I'm used to typing in fucking VVN, VVW. VER, VVX, right? I'm used to typing that shit in, right? To have the VGS wars, I am not fucking learning it again. Plus, I'd need to access the code to make it a little bit more streamlined. But again, it is possible, it's just not something I would want to relearn. But again, you just go Gamepad L2, you use another button, probably left bumper, that bring up the options, then you use one of the other corresponding buttons you've got access to, and you fucking go through all the options again, right? Same with these things, they can all be ex easily incorporated with the gamepad L2, I just don't use them. Except the vote to surrender and vote to not surrender, which is gamepad L2 and the D-pad up and down. Uh, I don't use, I don't know if I can this game, pause, and don't use any Twitch shit. So it's pretty standard. The only other thing that I use is the sensitivity, right? The base sensitivity, right? this is a gamepad, right? This is my sensitivity, right? You can slow it down a little bit as well. Slow it down again, speed it up again up a lot, it's really up to you, right? You've got the same kind of control. The thing is, the base sensitivity is 1.0000000. I changed that in the any files, it means every time there's a big patch, I have to go fix it again because they don't have a fucking slider, which is dumb. And I changed it to 2.2000000. So it's quite a big upgrade in speed overall, but you couldn't do it. 1.0 was like moving through fucking honey, right? You just, your character felt so slow and stiff, it was really weird. I don't know why they said it that low as a base for gamepad users. It feels more like it's just for retard users, no offense if you're a retard. Like, it, you just felt slowed down, you felt you couldn't keep up, and it's like, why is my character so fucking slow at turning? Like, even just simple movements to the left and right, see from here to here, you would fucking take so much longer. It was, it was hard man, it was hard. I used to play like that as well. Fuck. I bet a few pros over playing like that. Man, that was a big handicap as well. But it was just too slow. <laughs> like that's what it was. It was too slow. I don't know how I done it. And and I never knew why. I eventually used X pad just to get around the fact that it was so slow and I went, wait, I just go fucking mess about with any file. And I messed about with it and that's why I've got two point two. But I'll show you how to do that as well in a minute. But that's it. So basically I'm moving a little bit faster than normally you would, thanks to the two point two. What the fuck's this? That's golden ball. That's neat. <laughs> the extra damage. But yeah, once again, like, you can still use your abilities to jump, find number three, turn and blink, go back the other way, hit my agility. It's pretty simple to use all these abilities, right? And again, I've got, you can hear me clicking for the fucking jump that I love. See, it's, there's nothing really different or hard about it, it's all just as is. I can't believe that crit. <laughs> it's fucking like 5% crit chance or some shit. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward, it's pretty simple to use. And I much prefer it. I can't use the keyboard to save myself. I just miss everything. Like, I get that you've got, th usually you use three fingers, I assume, maybe four, you use the four directional buttons on the keyboard, or you have to move your finger. I'm assuming you're probably going to use the three main fingers to use the, you know, W, A, S, D, and then just move the center figure off W and S, but I feel that's kind of confusing. And then if, I'm assuming you also take your finger off the movement to use an active, which again I find is a bit of a disadvantage. Unless you've got one of those gamer mics with extra buttons on the mouse and you've got your active there, which is fucking seems like a big advantage over someone who's got a regular mouse. Um, so, yeah, we'll go on and I'll show you the any fills in a minute. Okay, guys, so here is the config folder. As you can see, it'll be my documents, my games, smite, battle game, config, and then you're going to go into battle input. All right. 
bring up battle input, and you're going to look for M underscore F look sensitivity. You can highlight it there, and you change it to 0.2. Its default is 1.000000. I increased it to 2.2000. You can just go to uh, edit, find, right, or find next, and just type in even just some of it. So it'll be M underscore F look, and you should find it. And you just need to change the number, hit save, close this down, restart with smite, and boom, you're no longer treading through honey, you're fucking free, and you can move a lot faster, which is obviously a lot better. I think you can change a lot of other things here, but this is just, this way I can move, but you can actually change your dead zone as well, which is actually quite convenient, because if my left 3D stick wasn't actually broke, I could actually mess about with the dead zone as well, and that would also give you some more control as well. These are quite important, as these were things that x provided, but obviously Smite has them as well, just in a less convenient way to find. So yeah, if you've got a proper working controller, <laughs> you could even go along and try and mess about with some of these things as well, which will probably help as well. I just wish they had something easy, simple, because obviously it's a lot of hassle to change the number, save, close it down, restart Smite, and test it. Oh, I didn't like it. Uh, fucking go back, change it, <laughs> on back up and see it's a lot of fucking bother really right and it'd be a lot easier if they just had a s fucking slider for everything be a lot better hopefully with my xbox will actually prove that but yeah i, I changed it to 2.2 it, it was good enough i didn't really want to mess about it. i'm like obviously when i initially saw it one i'm like yeah it turns like shit so instantaneously you think a little bit more than double will obviously help and that helped a lot and i was like yes yeah, feels pretty good now you just left it at that you know it feels a lot smoother you feel it's kind of like jump up from 30 frames to 60 frames, or like 60 frames to 120 frames, like, damn, this feels, this feels fucking good, you know, so, yeah, that's what I recommend. So anyways, yes, this was the sort of, like, gamepad overview, I guess, I uh, hope you guys liked it, I guess, it's not my usual type of video, but I'm assuming it's useful to some people out there, you find it a little bit more useful to see a sort of comparison between the gamepads and, you know, the settings and the set out and fucking even this shit as well is probably useful to someone who wants to use a gamepad but can't because it's too fucking slow. And boom, there you go. For all the people say that is the problem, it's just a good mind, it's not a problem if they had a fucking slider. Fucking console games I used to play back in the day had a slider for this shit or a number you could change. If not a slider, it'd be a number, right? I think the base for a lot of games would be 3 or 4 out of 10 and I usually play that at 6 or 7 or 8 depending on the game. This is a console game, right? The turning faster is just something I'm naturally used to. So, it, I was kind of surprised they didn't have it. I'm like, wait, 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 they've got it for the mouse, but they don't have it for the pad, man. That feels bullshit. I think they're trying to keep the gamepad users down. But, if they came out with cross-platform play, I don't think there would be a big gap. I don't think you get an advantage. This isn't a first-person fucking shooter with a fucking mouse is clearly a bajillion times better. I'm not going to deny that. This is a fucking third person game where it doesn't play a big impact at all. Right, that's the difference. This isn't a first person shooter. This is a third person action game. Big difference. So, you guys, always enjoy this. Thanks for watching. And as always, see you all next time.